Welcome to a screencast of how to use STAT Plus using the Mac version of Excel. So I've set up the spreadsheet with the quantum states for the initial and final quantum states already identified. I have also inputted the values of the independent variables for the different for the different frequencies that we see here. So let's use STAT plus then to do the linear regression. So we go to statistics, come down to regression, click linear regression, and this little pop-up window opens up. This automatically uh, tells you that the labels will be in the first row. It sets that up automatically. However, we need to go to advanced options in order to ensure that constant is zero. So let me just flag that. Right, now we need to input the dependent variables, which are of course our Y variables, our frequencies for each of the spectral lines. So I click this button here go to the spreadsheet, highlight the values, including of course the header. I can return to STAT Plus and click this button so that I can enter the independent variables which are H1 through to I5 like so. Come back to STAT Plus and finally click OK. And a new spreadsheet opens. It's not going to be put in the same spreadsheet as it would have done using the data analysis tool pack in a Windows version of Excel, but the same data is here. In the third table we can see the parameter associated with 2j plus 1 which is of course therefore the rotational constant and we can see the parameter associated with minus 4j, sorry, minus 4 into j plus 1 cubed. The standard errors are here as well. Now one of the issues is that uh, within this table it reports it as a number to five decimal places and that's not enough information. We really need to reformat these numbers into scientific format, scientific notation. So if I highlight these four numbers and format cells we can change that rather than this custom. I can just change it to scientific like so with five decimal places. That will be good enough. Okay. So all I'm interested in was, of course, taking a copy of these two numbers and uh, I go back to my original. I can just copy and paste those in as we would have done before. So that's how we can use STAT plus to do the same kind of linear regression that we did using the data analysis toolkit add-in that was available to us in the Windows version of Excel. Thanks for listening.